this gift of Felice and this is another unboxing this is more of a fishing unboxing and it is to do with the 1000 sorry, sorry 1000 100,000 LM 9X XML T6 lead light um, I've bought from um, off wish it comes with the box um, comes with the USB cable and, and an American adapter um, but when I ordered it um, customs put a note in there saying that they took something out but it wasn't the batteries was not the USB cable wasn't the power adapters uh, the only thing I found that wasn't in there was instructions so I don't know um, exactly what they took out I'm a bit curious because everything's in there so apart from that um, it costs about $35 Australian with about $11 shipping, so all up you're looking at about $46, and it is quite decent. Um, so here we go. Let's get. Let's have a look at the box first. So headlamp, brightness, multi-purpose. You know, completely understandable. Um, there's not much else on there. Um, back, back. It does come with some wording. Um, I'm going to try and re read this to you if I can get it to properly um, zoom in on there and it's not going to do it so basically it just says super bright super far long endurance drop resistance waterproof design then there's a lovely warning so the warning states attention the anode and cathode of the battery attention attention the anode and the cathode of the battery when putting it into the battery holder do not irid irradiate the eyes directly as the brightness light will harm the eyes well everybody knows that uh, when the light fails in please use new powerful battery to replace the old ones please take put the battery when the torch will be no use for some time so breaking down the really horrible translation of this basically what they're saying is uh, with the anode and the cathode put the batteries in the right way um, which is pretty easy to do um, Make sure you don't shine it in your eyes because this thing is really bright. Um, I actually took it outside not too long ago and um, yeah, it's really good. Um, and basically when the, <laughs> the light fails in, so basically when it goes dim, um, use new powerful battery to replace the old ones. Uh, this is actually rechargeable batteries. Um, it charges via USB, so basically it's saying they put decent batteries in there. Um, please take put the battery when the torch is not in use for some time. So basically, take out the batteries when well, you're not going to use it for some time. That is the rough translation of this this here. Um, I forgot to tell you who the seller was. Um, just bear with me here. The seller is DZJ168 on Wish. So there we go. So that's that. So we open the box up. I've taken the USB lead out, but basically. That's your USB lead that it comes with. It is a typical Samsung micro USB thing. Everyone uses them, so why not these? I got this in a black red variety. Um, it's coming up orange there, but it's like a it's it's a metal construction, um, like an aluminium type construction, um, and it's in red. So, look at this, obviously it goes over your head, um, I'm not going to do that today. Um, we'll start at the back with the battery pack. So the battery pack has a little clip here that you can just unhook, comes out. Now the batteries are like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, they're not regular AA batteries, um, they're called 181650 batteries. I don't know if you can read that. 4200 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt lithium iron batteries. They are, they look like an AA, but they are much bigger. I don't think I've got an AA in here to, to confirm that, but if you know the rough size of a USB port, um, yeah, as you can tell, they are much um, bigger much thicker than a USB port. I'm just trying to 
give you, give you some examples. Um, yeah, so they are really big. Um, and the best thing about these is usually when you put these batteries in, they always go one 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 way, one the other. These don't. These actually go in the same way. So it's quite easy to put them in. Um, just shut the lid. Um, on the back here, you have what I would like to call the the you got the USB charge port there. It's got a nice little cover there. It doesn't really go in. So I don't think I'll be using that for too long. I'll be ripping that off. And it's got a battery indicator. So when it's charging, there's four lights there. So it's got one, two, three, four. But when the lights are on, um, you'll see it. Um, it's got different different codes. You're probably not going to see that. But basically, it's telling you that it's on. And then it's off again. So you'll notice the lights bouncing off my shirt just then. I'll show you them in a second. So you come from that, you've got your usual three straps coming out. On one side, you've actually got an SOS whistle, which is um, this here. It's called an SOS whistle, so you can blow into it. And obviously, it's going to make a whistle noise. Out of the battery pack, oh sorry, on the battery pack, you've got like a little cushion thing here. You probably want a bit better cushioning. Probably rip that off and put a bit thicker piece on there. Um, but yeah, so that's that's fine there. You've got your hinges. You've got your cable that comes out that runs all the way in. It is a fixed cable. I would have liked to see it removable, but you know, it's only cheap. So that's a fixed cable. And the head straps you can take off. You can probably wash the head straps, adjust them, and all that sort of stuff. And now we're on to the, the main part of the camera. On the, sorry, the torch. So you've got your adjustable lens, and it makes a really good click. And this is a, like a Phillips head bolt nut setup. So you can probably loosen it and tighten it as much as you want. So it can pretty much go, um, let me just say that's 90 degrees. So from there to there. So that would be the front of your head. So that would be the front of the head. So you can pretty much look straight down to your toes. Um, actually, it goes further. So it actually goes back into your body. So that's pretty good. Um, you got your lights here. So basically, this is a 9. In between the 9 and the 7 is where the 3 lights in the middle. Um, you get 1 with the 7 and obviously 3 with the 9. So you'll have... Um, you're not going to be able to see this too well. Uh, basically, the first click is the three main lights. Second click is the three main lights and the two side lights. Third click is all the side lights and the main light. And then you go into like an auxiliary mode. And it's like a purpley type color. Um, it is a different color. It's not pure white. You can probably tell. And then next time... It is all of them, and then you've got your emergency strobe. So if you have a look, I'll go from that white. You can see that's nice and clearly white, and then when I do that, it's a different color. It's actually like a purpley color. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything to show you, but yeah, it's like a purpley color. Um, I wouldn't say it's um, inf infrared or uh, a black light color. It's yeah, it's, it's not quite a pure white. But other than that. Um, like I said, it shines really, really well. It feels good. Um, the button makes a definite click, uh, which I'm happy about. I'll try and try and pull that up here. So yeah, definitely a full click. It's solid. Um, the screws steel, the hinges, even though they're plastic, it feels really good quality. Um, if it breaks, I don't think you'd be able to repair it. Although it does have little Phillips head screwdrivers in there, so you, you may be able to pull it out. But they are LEDs, so generally LEDs do not break. So you shouldn't have an issue. And like I said, the battery pack, the headlamp, it's not that heavy. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed. I'm super impressed with that. Like I said, this is more of a, um, a red, um, more than the orange. My screen's showing up orange, but... Different screens, different cameras um, show it, but it is a beautiful red color. I'm really impressed with it. Um, it's comfortable to wear, and I can't wait to take this out. Um, it'd be good.
good for fixing cars or PCs or anything like that. Um, if you can't, don't have a good light. Um, but its main purpose is for camping. I would suggest it for fishing because you can get a really good view out of this. So I might have to do a night fishing video or something or, or another video on it just to show you how good it is at night. But other than that, um, so you got your, like I said, it is the 100,000 LM 9X XML T6 LED rechargeable head headlamp headlight travel head torch. $35 with $11 shipping. Uh, rechargeable lithium ion batteries, USB cable. It doesn't really tell me um, how long of light you get out of this. Um, it's got six modes. Don't use it for scuba diving. Um, so yeah, 100,000 LM or lumens. And it is from the seller DZJ168. Um, shipping didn't take me that long either. I'm pretty sure shipping took about two weeks from wherever it came from, which is probably China. I'm just going to double check. So shipping... Yeah, it took 14 days, so it took exactly two weeks. Um, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with two weeks shipping from China. Um, like I said, it came really well, but the weird thing was, and I'll just show you this, um, this is what came in it, so, um, Australia Border Force open for inspection, an item has been removed by the Australian Border Force, Australian Force screens or international parcels and letters and help Australian borders. I'm just going to read this more out to you. Um, Australia Post has opened your mail article for Australian Border Force inspection. The Australian Border Force have removed an item as it is suspicious to be a prohibited import. A seizure notice for the removed item has been sent separately. Further information restricted imports can be obtained by the Department of Immigration and Border Protection website border.gov.au. So I got that in there. I'm not going to shy away from that. I did get that in there. Um, but what they took out, I have no idea. Absolutely none. I've got the USB cable. I did get a charger that was an American or a European charger. And I've got the headlamp and the batteries. So, I don't know what was sent in there. Um, let me know in the comments in that if you've ever seen this before. Um, with stuff shipped, shipped from China. I've never seen it before. Um, like I said, the packaging and everything was fine. Um, so hats off to Australia Post Australia Border Protection because I still got the item um, it still works there's no damage to it the packaging was perfect um, so I'm not going to have a go at them they're doing their job which is great um, I'm just curious to find out what that letter is and that will be a separate video so when I do get that letter if I get that letter um, I'll actually do a video on that um, and link it back to this one so everybody will find out what happened um, that's it for now um, thank you for watching please like, favourite, subscribe um, let me know if you've got this this letter before uh, let me know if you're interested in more reviews like this um, like I said before with some of my fishing reel videos and stuff like that I am starting to do more videos like that um, I've got my motorcycle video that's also up now or coming up in the next couple of days so that's it. Have a nice day. This is Geek of Leash signing off.